Well, Darren, you had a uh, chance to, to recover and recuperate yourself after the weekend. Yeah, no, it's gone now, so we, we move on. So, uh, pleasing result. Not always nice to win football matches, so we, we move on to the next one. I guess at this stage of the season, um, where teams are in the league table, you're going to tell me are what is irrelevant. Oh, good. So, no point saying anything more <laughs> on that, then, is it? No, but uh, it is. Like I said uh, in the week, everybody's got something to play for, whatever club you're at contracts, promotion, relegation, so there's, there's always there's always teams playing for something, uh, going to Stevenage, their own fans will be expecting a home win, uh, haven't had a particularly great season, but uh, Darren's come in and, and made sure they're safe, albeit not mathematically yet, but they, they're, they're, they're as good as, so uh, it'll be a tough game. Is there a sense of you owe them one after what happened at the Mem earlier no, in the season? No, not at all. Uh, the past is the past. Saturday's gone. The rest of the games are gone. It's going on Tuesday night. That's where we approach it. It's another game. It's, a, it's another possibility to pick up three points. A lot of stress, a lot of tension on Saturday afternoon. Physically, how do you ensure that the players are are ready and, and raring to go at this stage of the season. I felt so, alright to be honest with you. I, uh, I know what I'm getting from my lads, they're going to give everything. So they, it's to be enjoyed, that's for everybody else to be strength and stress and intense if they want to be. Uh, for me, we really sign ourselves in a position where we should be enjoying it. Our, our fans should be enjoying it, not worrying about if, but some maybes. Just just focusing on trying to win Tuesday night. Uh, the players have just got to remain focused to try and win a football match and this time of the season, I said it a lot last season, it's, it's making sure you play the game, not the occasions and just uh, go and play football. I'm sure all the fans for the last few weeks have been studying all the permutations, all the fixtures, all the table, everything. How do you ensure that you you and the players don't don't get dragged into that? Just by what I said, just just focusing on the game. Uh, that's for, it's for our supporters to enjoy it. You get that up and down the country, uh, throughout the divisions, and uh, that's why fans love the football. They all look at ifs, buts, and maybes. For me, it's the next project. Stevenage, tough game. Got off the back of a good result Saturday, so uh, we just focus on that. There's no point looking at permutations of how many points other teams are going to get, how many points we're going to get. You've got to just focus on ourselves to try and try and win that. I know it's a bit boring, and it's the same same boring questions each week. But uh, just got to just got to keep our focus and, and and try and enjoy the challenge. The key is that we enjoy it, take the pressure off ourselves by enjoying it. Now, what does Daryl Clark, the manager, do to? To relax, to, to switch off in between I don't, games. I don't switch off. I never switch off. Uh, that's a problem I have as a manager. I can't switch off. It's uh, find it impossible. So my family keep telling me anyway. So uh, yeah, just uh, you know, everything goes through my head. That's that's what it's got to be. Uh, team selection, tactics, uh, analysing the opposition, all your bits and pieces. Uh, managers certainly earn their money. That's for sure. And you've got players coming back into contention now from injury, the likes of obviously Lee Mansell. Back yeah, out. Lee Mansell came on the bench the other day. We've got one injured player at the football club, one young lad injured, Dominic Thomas, but uh, Stuart Sinclair's our only injury at the minute and he, he's working hard at his rehab. So we're in pretty good uh, order in that front, which is great with the, the pressure, the mental, like say, can be mentally draining for players. There's a time to freshen up in the, in the right areas, but we, the pleasing thing for me is we've had this group all season and when I've made changes, players have stepped in and it's going to be key with the, with the final four games. I know you're not going to tell me the starting eleven, but as a manager, how do you balance that that need for, I guess, continuity if the team's doing well, but also mixing it up to bring a bit of freshness? Listen, in? I know nobody knows my players better than me and my staff, so uh, we'll be looking at players that I think can play three games in the week mentally, not just physically. Now it becomes mentally. The games are intense for the players. There's no getting behind that. That's why uh, we, we'll weigh it all up. And uh, what I do know is, is whoever goes out on the pitch will know the jobs because they've done it all season, changed it all season, and things sometimes that can come into fruition when uh, you're not bringing somebody out of the cold uh, that these boys have been together for a while now. Lee Brown and Tom Lockyer signed up last week. Are you expecting anyone else to, to put pen to paper this if week? If you do, you'll see it on the official site. That's it.